First off, let's keep it simple. This is just an intro. We about to get this thing popping like a pimple. Whoever you was listening to, R.I.P. Cause you're now in the presence of the R.R.P. DTM and your girl KD and Chuckles. Plus the hostess with the most. Man, you know Kiki. You were crazy living life like a GTA. The same ones that was up at every PTA. Aiming for success and now we want the ETA. Plus we giving you motivation like what E.T. say. We giving tangible information with no hesitation. We probably got an answer for anything that you're facing. I guarantee you, we gon' give a suggestion. So just, um, write in the DMs. DMs. Give us your questions. KD, Kiki, Chuckles, man, y'all ready, ready to blow? blow? Three, two, one, let's go to the show. Let's, let's go! go. Right. They excited. Let's go. I'm just a D girl from around the way with a whole <laughs> lot of shit to say. It's your girl, KD. It's just it's... What? <laughs> yeah! yeah. Woo. 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 What you say? <laughs> Just with the mustache, it's Kiki. It's your hostess with the mustache, it's Kiki. Gia, yeah. <laughs> what up? <laughs> it's your boy, man, Coach DTM, aka Pure Motivation. I am Mr. Energy. Everybody love me. I don't have one enemy. Our podcast is head now, so you got to respect it. You never get off on us because we're never the exit. If you know me, then you know that I'm more than a savage who loves living life and is allergic to average. So, in conclusion, so with no confusion, if you see somebody realer than me, it's an illusion. What up, girl? They love it. They love it. We really got that. All right. They irritated. They love irritating. Goodness. Yeah, irritating. Oh. They love us. Oh, sorry. It's the fans. <laughs> I'm fans. Oh, sorry. You know, it's the audience, oh, man. They irritated. The audience, man. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Hey, what's good? What's good? Welcome sorry. to. Relationship reality. This is where you get your dose of relationships in reality. You know? So, we in this thing. You know me, man. King Coach. Let's go. Uh, the king of the pods. So, as always, I got to coach. start with my left. Oh. And ask, how was y'all week and weekend? Kiki. Mine was, um, it was peaceful. Okay. I didn't, peaceful. Have, my, I didn't have my kids this oh. week. So, it was quiet. I got to rest. I got to hang out a little bit. I still had to work half the week. And then hang out half the week. So I'm still tired a little bit. Got to get back into the swing of things. But I'm off next week, too. So I'm going to be... You off the whole week? Yes. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> Talk about yes. Yes. So I'm going to get to organize. But my kids in sports all week. So I mean, I really don't get much of a break. Yeah. Because I still got to go to games all week. And you got to take the week to get... Your organization and I stuff together. Clean, yeah. organize this week. But it's going to be my, my spring clean week. All right. I like it. I get to I like get it. all that done, which is good because, I mean, I really only get one week off a year, maybe. <laughs> so when I'm not working, I'm traveling. So I don't get to clean. So I, I, I dig that. I Ooh. dig it. Yeah. Okay, Dizzle. What's the deal, Pickle? Talk to him. I had a fun weekend. We went to the Taco Fest. Chill. And magically watch wrestling. Yeah. It actually was kind of fun, though. Yeah, okay. I mean, we couldn't even walk. We stayed there for a little minute because we wanted to see what was going to happen. Right. First of all, the way DTM face yeah. lit up, it would have been so mean to be like, we're not finna watch this. Yeah, it was kind of good, though. It was cool. It was cool. Was Hung out. You know. We had fun. Mm-hmm. I got bored so quick, though. I got to say. She I did get full quick. I, I was disappointed. I couldn't even eat a little bit more of my food. I was disappointed. They, I'm like, yeah. I think that egg roll put me over. I shouldn't have eaten that. The egg roll was fire. It was good, but it was so filling. Yeah. And the, the sauce was. It was really good. Over the yeah. edge. Yeah. The sauce was over the edge, for sure. I know they somewhere. I don't remember the name of it. But I remember it was definitely uh, uh, over the edge. Egg roll diva? Yeah. 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 Yeah
you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was big. Yeah, that's always big. Fixed yeah. our oven. Fixed the oven. Right. Our um, oven been out for like a couple months, so we mm-hmm. were um, looking for a new uh, stove, whatever. So yesterday he reset the power and the oven came on. What? Yeah. That's I, I was like, the oven came on. He like, what? So I had to rewire because I put a ceiling fan up. Mm-hmm. So I had to rewire, mm-hmm. and so I cut all the power off mm-hmm. to rewire. Okay. And then once I turned the power back on, mm-hmm. the oven came on. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it's fire. Let's go. I'll fix it. I'll fix it all. I'm not looking forward to that drive tomorrow, though. I could tell you that. Oh, she's back in the office tomorrow. Oh. She's been talking about that for the last three days. <laughs> then, then Thursday, I think it was. First of all, I'm trying to figure out a way to let them, to have them let me work. From Just tell them you're allergic to driving. <laughs> like, bro, come on. Just gonna take yeah, that's the part I don't like. That's the part she don't like. She, well, she, you only to do it for one week. <laughs> Five whole days. Yeah, we, some people got to do it every single day. Yeah. Six days a week. Thanks. Oh, no. Thanks. <laughs> spoiled. Stressed. <laughs> spoiled. All right. All right. Luxuries so, of working from home. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Take me two minutes to get to the office. <laughs> here's what we're going to do with this one today. So this is how we're going to end the pod, guys. So I'm going to give you guys the statement that I want you to answer. I don't know, man. I guess I'm getting older, so maybe I'm getting more sentimental in my old age, right? But, um, and I have a lot of alone time in the vehicles while I'm driving, so, mm-hmm. you know, I get, yeah, so my mind gets to be going. So, mm-hmm. here's what I want to go with this, and I want um, all my listeners to do the same thing with your uh, immediate core, all right? So, Kiki, yes. this goes for, you have the answer <laughs> for yours truly, your uh, first best friend. DTM, and then your second throw best up. friend, KD. Mm-hmm. KD, you got an answer for uh, yours truly, your first best friend, DTM, and your <laughs> second best friend, <laughs> Kiki. I would throw up. And then I'm going to answer for oh, you, two okay. jokers. All right, so. Us two jokers. <laughs> so, nigga. So, this is what I want y'all to answer. I want y'all to give me mm-hmm. one thing mm-hmm. in 2024 that you appreciate about that the people yeah. that I just told y'all about. Oh, that's easy. All right? Okay. So, um, but we, we, that's, that's how we're going to end it. Okay. All right? That's okay. how we're going to end it. Well, we're going to start it for those who, oh, y'all weren't listening because we was already done um, recording at the time. But we had a conversation off air as we were wrapping up um, last week. And it was about... Um, it was a statement that was made, and it was so funny because uh, the producer and KD like almost said it all at the same time. Mm-hmm. And it's about being around people who want you to do good, mm-hmm. but not better than them. There we go. Not great. There we go. <laughs> so, um, can you can either of you speak to the fact of uh, if you ever? Realize that you was around somebody who was like that, and then what would you what would you tell the people who may not realize that, or what should they do about that? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you realize I'm around somebody who he do or she do, because sometimes it could be your spouse or whoever mm-hmm. or your parents who yeah. you know who be like, I want you to do good, yeah, but not better than me. I ain't never make it through college, so you ain't gonna mm-hmm. you know don't you do it? Yeah. Or I ain't never been more than what I am right now, so mm-hmm. I want you to do good. But not better than me. So, how, what can y'all give the people you know, just from your very own experience? I don't know if you could say, well, can we give them? But I got an experience that I had with like one of my siblings. And um, we never really had a good relationship, but it's been okay. We talk, we chat, or whatever. But when he seen, like in person, how good I was doing my house, my car, whatever I was driving, or whatever, when he came over, it was just like, oh, this is nice. Like, bullshit so I got the feeling that it's like you okay with you seeing it you know what I'm saying outside but when you see it inside it's like oh this what you're doing out here okay hmm bullshit but I don't know <laughs> if we can say which I mean that kind of hurt my feelings because I'm like why wouldn't you want me to be doing good like that's weird especially you're doing it by you, yourself you like, my sibling though like I would think you would be happy about my accomplishments you know what I'm saying yeah like you doing the same. You got a house. You got a family. You got, you know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you want me to have the same? I thought that was, it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. But I don't know if I can say, like, 
what to do from people like that. I just kind of cut them out of my life, honestly. Like, I can't have nobody bringing me down. Like, I need positive people in my life. So if you're not there for me in a positive way, and we can't bring each other up, I don't really need you in my life. So I'll love you from a distance. That's all I can say. Okay. That's the hard part, too, when they come from yeah. somebody who so you close. never expect. Like, they mm-hmm. so much into your circle, mm-hmm. you know. So How about you, Katie? Yeah, I just put them out. <laughs> you are off the island of uh, Katie. Yeah. And this is another reason and why I can But I wait. want you to still, I want you to still be doing, I want you to still see me doing good. So I'm going to let you still follow me on all my, on my, what? All my social media. You can still so. follow me, but you yeah. just, okay. I want you to still see I'm doing great, though. <laughs> Like, we good I, over here. I want you to still see all the accomplishments that I'm, all my goals that I'm setting, and the ones that I'm achieving. I need you to see all of it from a I distance. Feel you. <laughs> from over there. From over there. I feel your seat and look though, because bitch, I'm coming. I really want you to have front row seats. You can't get on the stage though. You can't get on the stage. You're not riding with me though. No, no we're not riding together. That's out. I like that. This is why I can't wait for y'all to hear the new intro, because this, it, it kind of it, it. You just. Said part of the bar, but what? uh, you're here. <laughs> I just can't, you know. I Let me you. find out you done went in the studio. <laughs> Let me find out you went to Modalco and made a motherfucking diss track. Right, right, right bro. <laughs> Let me find out <laughs> you done went in the booth and spit a diss track. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a diss track, it was just the truth, you know. You gotta say people the truth. hide. They, people hide the this, the, the, the this under the truth. <laughs> the fuck. I don't think it could be a diss if it's the truth. I don't think it's a diss. Honestly, you know? I feel like he wrote a diss. But no, I, I agree with I agree with both of them. And both I feel like them. I'm gonna diss you back. For me, um, I I don't understand how people live like that. I actually want to see everybody doing good and even better than me, especially especially. If you are in my inner circle, because what mm-hmm. that should do is it should give you motivation to Instead push yourself. Instead of jealousy, it should, yeah, give, it should give you motivation. Yeah. So like, if I'm if I'm having a down day, the first thing I want to hear is somebody around me have doing something good or something positive or they having a great day or something like that because it makes me forget mm-hmm. about my down day. I'd be like, oh yeah. yes, he keep winning. Yeah, we winning then. You know what I'm saying? It's always like when somebody else winning, I'm always with them, and it's always a we winning. Because I've learned a long time ago that all you need is small wins. You know what I'm saying? To get the momentum going. And once you, and sometimes it'd be mental. You just feel like you're losing, but you're not really losing. Mm-hmm. So if you can change that men- mentality, then you can switch it up. And you can start, you know, falling in line like you're supposed to. And, and winning like you're supposed to. So I definitely don't understand um, that concept. And uh, quite frankly, I guess I can say I hate it, you know. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. I hate it, but yeah, the, I would definitely be on board with y'all when y'all say you, you might have to, you know, uh, get away from it. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta get away from it so that way it don't you don't start to believe yeah. that you should be down. It start to run you down because what happens when you surround yourself with people who don't rejoice in your in your accomplishments, you start being ashamed of accomplishing things, and now you don't, and now you it. don't even want to yeah. do it or you don't want to talk about mm-hmm. it because now you like. Dang, I don't, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Nobody yeah. around me happy for me, so that makes you start thinking your accomplishments aren't as good as they really are. Right? Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what do so you, you do? Just stay away from those people. What do you do if you are younger, right? So, like, if you are like one of the, one of our kids mm-hmm. that be not necessarily in adulthood yet, maybe 17 and under, 16 mm-hmm. and under, right? Mm-hmm. But you see them. Their friends is 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 bringing them down like that, or other family members who oh. they love to be around, maybe oh. bringing them down. But like see, that. the thing is, from the outside ah. looking in, you usually do see it first. People mm-hmm. rarely see it from the inside yeah. first, right? Yep. So even if you tell them like, "Hey, I think when you around this person, they not bring you up to they your full gonna, potential," they're not gonna believe they it. They're not gonna believe or it. See it. Yeah. Right. So you gotta just let them see it on their own. Yeah. And if they never see it, then it just wasn't meant for them to see. I would still right. mention it, though. I feel like... Oh, we, I would definitely are, mention we it. We are parents that communicate, so we definitely going to say something. Yeah. Now, whether they, you know, accept it or not at that point, we just got to let them see it for themselves. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Because for me, I can remember coming up, and I remember having um, a brain-leaching uh Relative, I say I won't give what type of relative. Right. Yeah, I, they don't that. listen, but it, but other people do. Other people. I mean, I don't really care. Okay, about that well, side, but continue. We just saying, 
But I remember having that, and at that at that stage, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Who I'm talking about then? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Come on, I. Who I'm talking about then? Yeah. So you want I'm, me to say it? I mean, it's, it's, Keisha it's, said it's, it. It's reality. Right, I didn't know. say it. I don't like each move, other anyway. Move. Um. Oh, okay. But listen. That but, don't say much. I don't like half the people over there. So, but um, while I was in it, while we were, when I was that age, I didn't see it as that. You know what I'm saying? And I sat back. I was like, man, I wonder if my parents, because I don't want to say which parent, because then they're going to know who I'm talking about, mm-hmm. you know. But I'm like, I wonder if my parents could have, <laughs> could have, like, shut that um, one-on-one hangout time out sooner. Or was it good that that he or she let me um, hang around he or she as long as I did? Oh, this is a lot. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> you said Gary. Jerry. Gary. Oh. Sorry, Jerry. Um, but no. Um, if that if that should have been something that had been cut out sooner, or was it smart that they did it the way they did so I could see everything that I saw and be like, ah, I don't want that. That's stupid. Because this person was offended to be forever. I think it's a and double-edged sword. And to this day, they still offend to be and don't want you to be more than what they eat. Not more than what they are. They don't want you to be more than what they finna to be because this is what they <laughs> see they self as. Mm, he's you know. a bum bitch. Who is he? he? Oh. I'll say oh. his name. I don't give a fuck. Oh, now you want to say his name. When, when Pee-wee. She, when she get these balls from all of a sudden. Like, Pee-wee. She, just, she was just like, uh-uh. Because uh, uh. I'll say his name. Wee right. Wee, Irvin. Jeez. What's the last name? Bradley. Mm. <laughs> Little bitch. That's how Oh, sorry. See? You can edit that out. Mm-mm. Don't, 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 try to, don't try to give our producers more, more work. I, he's not my favorite. Clearly. All right. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> right? Everybody can see that. But, but yeah, definitely. Um, so what y'all think about that part, though? Do you think as, a, as your kid... Would you cut it out sooner, or would you just like, okay, let's let this be they, that's they, that's they cousin, that's they brother, that's they uh, uncle, or I, let's give it, let's make it even harder. I feel, that's they daddy. Oh, they yeah. daddy don't want them to do better than them, and you can Shit. see it in them. How do you fix something like that? Because there's people out here that's that's going through that type of stuff. I mean, that's hard because it's like you can't cut them from their parent. Like, like, so is that a conversation? To me, I feel like you just got to pour that's more a hard into one them. There. You yeah. just got to pour more into them. Like, because that'd be my even my if you're the thing. only person cheering, you still got to keep cheering. Yeah. yeah, eventually they they will see it. Yeah, and when eventually. they see it for themselves, you just got to be there to catch them. But, that's gonna be a painful but, realization. I got a, I got a, I got a person in my family who. I actually did that with. I've seen like the, the person was just so negative, this feeling like so much, and they still were like, "Well, that's my person." So I I don't even know. I see they doing all of this and all of that, but what am I supposed to do? You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's, it was like a um, a parent. So they were like, "Yes, I mean that's my parent. What I'm what am I gonna do? Like yeah. it's my parent." And I'm like, well, only you will see it when it's time to be Because nobody can tell you how to be fed up. Exactly. And I look, but for me, it was devastating because I've seen it. And I'm like, this is a piece of shit. Like, this this, 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 is garbage. Like, parent or not, it's like, why would you want to? It just was horrible. But I've seen I seen it a long time ago, and stuff just kept happening, and I'm just like, oh my god! Even to this day, she still don't see it. Like she still like, yeah, no, this is my parent. So I don't know, it ain't, I don't know and, what to tell you. And that's the hard and part. And that's I mean that's for her. And I told her, like if it was me in that case, I would have cut ties. Parent or not, like you're not just about to keep doing me dirty. Yeah. Like you seeing me trying to ride, and you like kicking me down, like. Yeah. You snatched the chair under me. There's nothing you can do about that. That's yeah. the parent. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what do you... I can't control how you feel about your parent. Like, you only got eyes for this parent. You like, no, this is my parent. Like, what do you... I'm going to have nothing if I don't have this parent. You know? Yeah. I, and I think that that play a part, too. Like, especially yeah. when you don't have... When you feel like this all you have, mm-hmm. right? So you like this yeah. this all I got. So if I let it go, then I won't oh, have anything. Yeah. That's what even romantic relationships, mm-hmm. you like, 
I've been here so long. If I walk okay. away, I won't have nothing. That's why we stay so long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those dysfunctional relationships or toxic relationships. But, you know, I teach my kids, it don't matter the relation. If somebody not doing no. you right, I don't care if it's yeah. your parent, your grandparent, your auntie, your yeah. uncle, your cousin. Hell, your kids. But we've been in, we've been through enough to see it yeah. now, but they haven't. So they don't. They're like, oh, no, that's still my cousin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's still my best friend. That's still my, you know, yeah. whoever the person would be. they like, no, that's still my good friend. Mm-mm. Meanwhile, we like fuck them. Quit. <laughs> and that's the. We've been through stuff. We have. We, we got that. that but knowledge. I said that though. Like, I said yeah, that, 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 trauma that changes you. Yeah. Trauma changes how you mm-hmm. your outlook on things. Like yeah. when people like you say all the time, like you cut people off so easy. Like, but I, first of all, I don't cut people off the first time they fuck me over. I will. It's usually several times. I will. It's usually several times that I give them before I'm like, you know what? Don't ever talk to me again. Mm-hmm. I can also but think trauma, that trauma trauma made me that way. You know what I'm saying? I because think I, you have to see you're not going to change. You're not going to change. So why am I going to still talk to you? I'm not going to let you keep offending me. Yep. So in saying that, how do you decipher who gets a little more um put your phone up there just lean it up against it. Who who do you, how do you decipher <laughs> who gets a little more um leeway than others? Um because and it, and let me just preference it a little bit. So, if like right now today, Kiki and myself can probably get away with doing certain things that you are very displeased with without you cutting us off, as opposed to other, you know, uh, family members. Or, no, 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 family shit, members. <laughs> no, like as opposed to like other family members or. Even even people who've been working at their job forever, mm-hmm. you know, you you are still cut off like yeah. certain things before other. How do you decipher who gets the leeway? Well, for me, it's accountability, right? If you do something to offend me and you don't want to take accountability for it, I'm I'm good yeah. because we can't even get past it. Mm-hmm. I don't want no blanket ass. Oh my bad! Yeah. Like you don't. I'm sorry if you feel like I did something. Mm, that's a big one right there. I'm good. Like what? Like that's what you mean? So you don't see nothing wrong with what you did? That's cool. No, I said I'm sorry. Yeah. If you think I did something, Is that, and, I, and, I did. And, I did say I'm I, sorry. And I think, <laughs> I think you could go to the hottest part of hell. Mm. So that's what you know. What I'm saying it's just people like be offens- offensive and then don't want to take accountability. Don't ever talk to me again. Yeah. In life or death. I, damn. But that's because they start off this whole the whole offense by saying, "No offense, but uh, like, <laughs> no offense, but uh, no, 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 all offense, mm-hmm. you know." So okay, yeah. that was a good one. So, in segueing, since we're talking about this, um, Katie and I was having a conversation a couple weeks ago, I think this was now, about something that she saw, she shared it with me. We kind of debriefed about it a little bit, a little bit, and. I a wanna, little Brit? Yeah, a little Brit. Oh, you may be right. I'm drunk, I told you. <laughs> I'm drinking 60%. It's not. 60%. <laughs> you so dramatic. It's, you know, you got you to gotta multiply by two. But, uh, That's by three. By three. See, I'm really drunk. Let's go. Um, but I'm going to play something. <laughs> and, I'm sick of it. Um, I just want to get y'all feedback on it. Okay. On what you think. Uh, how do you think this was? Was it right? Was it wrong? Um... And then if, if it doesn't, let me set it up a little bit for the people who might not be able to see what we got going on here. But there was a situation where the stepdad took the son, the stepson to the barber to get a haircut. The dad got super mad and was like super turned up and amped. All right. And he kept trying to call Keisha for clarification, but Keisha wasn't answering the phone. But I'm we sorry. go. I'm changing my name. Let's start there. <laughs> Hey, bro, 
going to them. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I need all this little Hey, hey. She said I had to the Hey, bro. All right. I'm going to show you. You're going to Yeah, all right. Hey, bro. 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 Hey, Hey, uh, you up here trying to pay Sean with him. Let me get my ain't cleaner nowhere until you pay your child support. What? Child support? Get out of here, Sean. I think he's right at the bar, nigga. <laughs> All right, so. Um, so many different ways we can we can start with this, yeah, man. Quick. But so first off, the stepdad taking his son. I don't know if the dad had like a standing appointment and normally takes the son and, and mm-hmm. didn't this week. And step. That's what I feel like. That's what I want to feel like. I don't think that's the issue, though. <laughs> well, that, that's also not his stepdad. That's just his mom's boyfriend. Oh well. So does that does that make it worse or better? I mean. I feel like it depends on what happened in the situation. It definitely like, put him in a weird spot. Happened in the, we don't know if the guy was never getting his kid haircut and he just got mad because somebody else stepped up and did it. Like, we don't know the backstory to what happened. Yeah. And listening to that phone call that he made to Keisha, he said, my man trying to take his son with him. Damn, and she wild. said not till he paid that child support. So now I feel like you didn't put dog in a weird spot. You got him playing the bailiff, bailiff role or something. Uh-huh. Like he can't. No, you're not taking him to you pay a child support to her. She said. Agree with that, My biggest issue with the whole thing is it all transpired in front of the, the little kid. boy. Yeah, yeah. that's the worst part. He looked like he looked like he might have been about four. Yeah, so he just much. sitting there getting his hair cut. That's too much. And y'all cutting up like this. He just sitting there like. And I don't but not even y'all. That far over I feel like that was one side. I mean, yeah, that's definitely. Like, it was the was dad for sure. Right? That's why my man, my the man, just kept was saying, like. Chill out. And he kept walking away from in front him. Of, yeah. Right. He trying to tell you, like, watch your mouth in front yeah. of the little boy. He yeah. like, you want to be Russell Wilson so bad. <laughs> well, bitch, take your future ass and get the fuck on. So you don't see the future, nigga. Oh. That's what I would say. I because would my thing is, the boyfriend seemed to be more conscious about the little boy being there. Because that could have went left quick. Yeah. Wait. They could have got the fighting. He could have shot him. Anything. Yeah. yeah. And you cut. But my thing is this, too. Who called you up there? That was so the like, question. is it like the neighborhood? You know what I'm saying? Like Pearl. how like no, like how Ishanum shop? Like everybody used to go there to get their hair cut. Yeah. So it was like, was it like a shop like that where that's, what it that's where like. he took them? And then somebody called him like, dog, dog yeah. up here, get your son hair cut. Like, who called him? That's what I'm yeah. saying. Somebody called him up there. The person who recording right now, the one who called. This, it, I mean, I, I be yeah, like that. they knew it. They were like, up oh, action. As soon as he got out the car. Mona Scott boy. You heard him say, world star. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Mr. Scott. This is Mr. I just, Scott. I just don't like him. how it transpired in front of the kid. And then if you had it, well, clearly you got an issue, but mm-hmm. you could have handled it in a more adult way. That was my thing. But you can tell he's very immature. Mm-hmm. First of all, you bitter about old girl. You talking about she ain't answering the phone because she thought. Why are you right. worried about what, what she, she doing? doing? Right. What do I have to that, do so, with okay, She probably another. cheating on you, bitch. What she cheated on you? Now your feelings hurt. Now, let me ask y'all her this. Sure. As women, how are you feeling about the way he handled it with your son? And not the boyfriend, not the baby daddy, but the boyfriend. How are you feeling? Are you like, yo, you let him say all this stuff about me? You ain't do nothing? Or are you like, I appreciate you, you know, taking into consideration that my son. Well, I appreciate dead. you not escalating in front of my baby. Like, yeah, he, I, hell, he said all the shit about him. He just said, bro, chill out. Just yeah. get out of my. He didn't say, he didn't engage with him at all. Mm-hmm. So you can't just pick that one thing out. He right. didn't engage with him at all. Like, what the hell? Why does it sound like that? <laughs> he didn't engage with him at all. He just like, get out of my face. Like, don't talk to me, whatever. He, that's why he said, I'm just going to call his mama. Like, First of all, bitch, I didn't kidnap him. Somebody know he here with me. Yeah, and I just for me, I hate that whole uh, mm-hmm. relying the message thing. No, don't don't tell me, don't tell me to tell nobody you said mm-hmm. nothing. Mm-hmm. Like that just if you know, I think if it's got something to do with like my seed, then yeah, you can tell me. But if we dating, yeah. I'm like tell his daddy I said, yeah. nah, cause that's for nigga left, and I don't, and it might not be from him. It might be from me, cause he might you know. <laughs> Give me a look or something, and it might just trigger me. Like <laughs> a lot of a lot of men not gonna let you talk to them like that. Yeah. I don't care who they in front of. Because when you look like af- afterwards, it's gonna constantly come back up. 
in in a joking way that's serious, that's gonna make you feel less of a man. Like yo, I should have slapped dog. If that's that type of dude, but that you and are. the dangerous part is he gonna try it again. Maybe when the kid not around, and then it's gonna be a whole catch them hands. Yeah. Yeah. And he gonna be like, well, shit, you ain't do that when we was in the barbershop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I told you to chill in front of the little boy. Mm-hmm. He kept saying, relax, your son right here. Mm-hmm. He's still going. The barber trying to twist the little boy away so he don't see what's going on. Like, he can still, his ears <laughs> little, still work. The little boy spinning like this. <laughs> I see, I see. Don't hit my daddy. <laughs> then you got to think about that. Now, if I beat the brakes off your baby daddy, now your son feel a way about me or scared of me or whatever. Like, why you beat my daddy up? Why? Cause your daddy thought he you had beat one, up and your he father didn't. used to. Listen, <laughs> I hate when people do that in front of kids. Period. Yeah, I hate I any kind of argument in front of kids. Like that, like, that was don't unnecessary. Do that. Like, you want me resolution? Over a so haircut bad. is ridiculous to me. Cause I don't care if you take somebody got to take him to go get his haircut. And clearly, if you didn't, he taking him for a reason. He not just gonna volunteer to take nobody else's kid. To go get a haircut if you was gonna do it, like I don't. If you would have did it, that's what I'm saying. Cause so, for all we know, he supposed to got it done last Saturday yeah. and didn't. So this Saturday, because boyfriend said, "Well, I'm going to get my haircut anyway. I take Shorty with me." Cause I know for sure my kid don't get his haircut for sure. When somebody gonna take him to go get his exactly. Haircut. So, so like I don't know what to tell you, and I make that very clear. Your job is the haircuts, but if you can't do that, believe me, somebody gonna take him to go get his haircut. So let me ask y'all this, and it's probably hard to ask y'all because y'all don't y'all got boys, but. And I've heard this from people who have girls and they're not with the parent of the girl. With if the girl come back home with the hair done, the first it's not all oh, your hair look nice. The first question is who, who did, did your hair? Who did it? Well, yeah. I feel like if we had a girl, I would feel like as long as it's done appropriately, like if I don't put weave in my baby hair, then don't put weave in her hair. Because if we not together mm-hmm. and she at your house and she need her hair done, what you supposed to do? I don't think KD would do that. She would be like, but, who did well, your hair? Yeah. However, uh, but I'm what different. What bitch did that hair? Because I'm going to make sure my baby hair done anyway. Right. But so what if something happened when, when it came? But... But I'm saying is sometimes you have a be moment. So nice, though. I, I mean, I don't. Would be that nice. I mean, oh I just, my God, that is so appropriate. Nice. That is the oh, most appropriate really pretty nice. hairstyle. I, really I, I don't see that nice. one. She'll be like, who the fuck? What bitch did that hair? Because I'd have been, I'd have been the same way. Like, yo, leave, leave my son hair nappy. We like this look. <laughs> Don't go cutting this nigga hair. But, we like this. But and when now it comes to funny, hair, nigga. I don't I don't believe in a lot of hands being in the hair anyway. Yeah. So did you take her to her stylist to get her hair done? Or did you pick? You know me good enough to know. Yeah. Shouldn't know just anybody being her hair. Yeah. The prime example, yeah. when my cousin, when her dad broke up with her sister and she had a new the uh he got a new girlfriend, whatever. The girlfriend took her to get her hair done. Okay, cool. He made sure it was cool with the mama, everything. Her hair came damn near to her waist. She let her cut it into a bob. Mm. Who did you talk to before you let her do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a violation right there. So my cousin dad bugged out on on his she his wife now, but he like what the fuck? What am I gonna tell her mama? Right. She like she she said she was tired of it. No 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 no. You were supposed to take her to get a flat iron. When it changed to something else, you should have made a phone call. Mm. Hey, is it okay if she get her hair cut? Then he could have told you, hell no. Because her mom was like, oh, you never seen her again, bitch. Take me to court. Because why did you do that? <laughs> she was so mad. She I was like, we agreed so... on yeah, I would be you taking her to get some curls or some shit. You done yeah. let her cut her hair into a box. With no so, hair. How she bald you... head. She was like 12. Like, what is wrong with you? Let's hear do it. you have a, is there a time frame, right? Especially for your older kids who might have a certain hairstyle, like, you know, Kiki's son got locks as well. If he, is there a time frame for him to say, man, I'm finna cut this, and then change his mind? Or is it like once you say it, it's, it's a go? Right? He's 17. And the reason why I say that. He older, though. No, no. I'm, okay, oh. let me let me, let me me give a little more context because this just popped in my oh, head when I'm you like... said that. So, like, I mean, I go through moments when I look at it like, man, I'm finna cut this. Mm-hmm. But then that don't last long. Mm-hmm. So, like, if I say it, and I'm 16, 17, I'm with my dad, and he's like, all right, bet, let's go. And I get it cut before I'm able to come really, to realization yeah, that I, I, would, really I ain't really it. feeling that. Mm-hmm. Is that a reason for you guys to get pissed? Like, why you ain't just give him a minute to see if that's what he really wants to do? Or why you ain't call me to help, you know? Is that a reason for that? Or is it like, well, he did say it, so... I just feel like 17, that's 16, 17, yeah. if you want it cut, then cut it. 
It got to it's up to you to make the decision quickly before the clippers hit your shit. If you make that decision, that's <laughs> fine. That's on you. You make that decision. Now, if you want to grow it back out, grow it back out. That's motherfucking locks hitting the ground. Now you like, you know what? I but changed my people, mind. A lot of people do that. They go through that phase where they want to cut it and then they grow it right back out. They like, I just wanted to start fresh. Yeah. A lot of people, Lenar actually did that before. He had longer hair and then he's like, you know what? I want to cut it. Well, I think I made him cut it. Because I was like, you ain't doing it right. I want to cut that shit. But then I was like, when I saw his hair, I was like, oh no, this looks stupid. I'm going to get it <laughs> I need you to go that back out. That look, you look crazy, boy. Like, that's Tell all that looks stupid. Yeah, you look crazy. Like, uh, uh-uh, uh, you look a hot ass mess, boy. Yeah, but that's your decision. Okay, you cut it, you don't cut it, you regret it. You people always regret. It. Like yeah. I regret cutting my hair, but it's gonna grow back, and it's already grown back. Yeah. As I look at my pictures, it's like every ten years I get the itch to cut my hair. And then yeah, you back. do. I look. It was ten years ago when I cut my hair. See? <laughs> <laughs> And it was shorter last time. It was so. way shorter last time. Y'all like, it didn't grow back. You, but y'all say that? Well, how long was it since, uh, how long ago was it since mama cut her hair? For Mother's Day. How many? So in May. May? Oh, uh, because it still looked the same length to me. Well, she older too. How about to say Oh, it take a minute. The older you get, yeah, the older you look. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, okay. Some. So for it's women. It's probably going to be my last cut because, I mean. The older you get. I'm about to be in my 40s now. Yeah, the older you get, the longer it's gonna grow back, but not as fast. fast. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I want my hair back. Yeah, because I was looking at it the other day. I'm like, yo, you still still bald head. It's not bald head. It do look the same length. It it do. Yeah. (laughs) She wanted shorter though. But you know what's crazy? Now, if I wanted it like that, Mm -hmm. the junk would grow back quick. And you know, a lot of her medication (laughs) take her hair out too. Oh. Yeah. So her hair already was shedding real bad before she cut it. So. You got that too. Though, she wanted shorter. It's easier to manage. Yeah, now she could wash it yeah, and brush it. It's yeah. so much easier to manage when it's short. People say that it's like the the people with long hair want the short hair. The people with short hair want the long hair. Be like, look, I like my short hair because it's so easy to manage. But yeah. then I miss the length now. I'm like I miss my ponytail. I miss the length. But then I just get you know hair at it. Like, like you know, I'm, just then I'm, I'm back. Just, I just buy a ponytail. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to buy one. I don't think I ever had a ponytail. Bundle. All right. So, um, I think that was good. I think that that was a good topic there. Now, this one came up as a recent. And this is actually, I got to get this dude some credit from where it came from. It's one of Katie's favorite uh, shows to watch okay. or podcasts to listen to, etc. But he was dropping some gems that I felt like we can kind of break it down um, from our perspective. Or as my man uh, Murder would say, from our vantage point. All right? So. Interesting part about 2024, there are women that swear up and down that men are misleading them. But you are the one trying to drag this man into a relationship he never said he wanted from you. This man do not want to marry you. This man does not want you as a priority. But you refuse to let him go. You talking about this man is misleading you and wasting your time. You are wasting your own time trying to build the project of a man you are taking it off your crown putting on your construction hat and wondering why this man is treating you like bullshit because instead of wearing your glass slippers you got on a steel toe boot trying to construct this man into something he never said he wanted to be in the first place so why are you saying this man is misleading you how can he be leading you when you're leading the relationship you're the Ooh. one trying to teach him emotional intelligence you're the one trying to get him to get over his childhood trauma Ooh. you're leading the relationship this n- don't want it he ah. won't ask and access but Ooh. you refuse to see that to let go of the string you always saying these men are misleading you how when you're trying to lead him to a place he don't want to go sometimes mm. you got to say if i have to build a man that's not the man for me mm. you know the interesting Okay, all right. So, she, so he be when it comes bro, to like building you. men, I hear this often, but it's it's usually disguised in a way like I gotta teach him how to love me, right? So I think it's a thin line between that. That's your that's not your feet. That's your feet. What's your feet? Uh, put the furry thing right there, man. <laughs> but um, it's always disguised in like I gotta teach him how to love me type yeah. thing, right? But I feel like there's a thin line between teaching somebody how to love you 
and you trying to build them into mm -hmm. what you think you want mm -hmm. or what you think they should be, um, mm -hmm. et cetera. So let's break that down. Y'all tell me what y'all think about what y'all just heard. Do you agree with it? Um, don't play with it. Don't play with I it. Don't play with it. I definitely agree with it because I feel like um, in a relationship, like you do can, I think it go both ways too. I think the man try to build the woman, the woman try to build the man and what you want out of the relationship. But like you said, it is a, it's a fine line between that right. because in the beginning, the communication got to be open to what you both want. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like in the beginning, if you feel like you don't want to, if somebody said in the beginning that they don't want a relationship, you got to listen to, especially a man, you got to listen to what they saying. Because you can't change that mindset. If right. they out here playing in the street, they not about to stop playing in the street for you. Because mm. you think you're giving up some stuff. They, they can get that from anywhere. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, you got to, I think it's all about listening. Cause I hear a lot of people go through that. I never went through that myself because, I mean, usually the people we on the same mindset. But if people say in the beginning that they don't want a relationship, they don't want a fucking relationship. But he hit it on the nose. He said they want ass and access. That's it. That's it. But because that's what y'all was doing in the beginning. Exactly. So but when they keep honest, going, what's in yep. it? What you hear? You can say anything, but what you doing is that's all y'all having sex. Yeah. So if you start out. That's exactly why I don't have sex with people in the beginning. Because if that's what you start doing, that's what the relationship going to be about. I don't want that. Right. So I'm never like a one night stand type of, I'm never going to be there. I never was there. That's never for me. It's not going to happen. And that's the, if that's what you're looking for, go with somebody else. Because there's plenty of women that's going to sleep with you on the first date. I'm not one of them. Yeah. First and week, first month. It's not me. I think he, he also said, you, you, Women are saying that men are misleading them when they're being honest, saying, yeah. "I don't want this, this is just what I want. Yeah. I just want a friendship. I just want a sex a situation ship, whatever." Mm -hmm. And somehow in the woman mind, she like he don't want a relationship with them, but he, he want, want one with me because it yeah. start being different it's because like, now y'all going out more. Well, now, this, you know what I'm saying? So in your mind, you like we going out. I mean his friends. I mean his family. I mean this. So you think in your mind. Oh, we in a relationship. Right. But you forgot about what y'all said in the beginning. Because you didn't listen to what mm -hmm. my man exactly. said. And really, you just, y'all just hanging out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But You attracted to the But this out. the yeah. problem. But this the problem. A lot of women can't just have sex. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, once you start having sex, mm -hmm. your feelings and emotions get entangled in it. And over. you don't understand why his feelings and emotions not entangled nah. in it. Yep. When the whole time he told you off rip, this yeah. not what, this... This yeah. ain't that, sis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you heard, mm -hmm. he just don't want a relationship right now. Mm -hmm. I just got to show him yep. the reasons why he want to be in a relationship. Right. No, 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 no. I'm, right, I'm not them. He never been in a relationship with a person like me. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yep. However, that's not what, that's not what he looking for. Yep. He looking for somebody to sleep with, hang yep. out with, have a good time. Mm -hmm. We can meet each other's friends, whatever. And when he introduced you and he say, this is my friend, such and such. Or, or, even say or this yeah. such and such, you mm -hmm. don't even got a title. You mm -hmm. just such and such. Mm -hmm. I let such and such roll with me today. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Type shit. Mm -hmm. So now you like, I can't believe he played me like that. Like, how did but, he play? But on the other hand, some guys do mislead though. Because some guys do introduce as this my lady, this my girl. So in their mind, you're like, oh, I'm moving up. Like maybe we, I'm letting her come over. I'm letting her do, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you're not really saying we in a relationship with the words that they hearing. Oh, I'm his lady. I, you know you, what I'm saying? You know what yeah, I see? That kind of is misleading a little bit. I'm going to tell you what I yeah, see. Yeah, but even when you feel like you're getting those mixed sin signals and misleading, you got to have a conversation. That's where people So the thing is, you don't want to have a conversation because you know the real. So That's he, But even in that instance, he not being misleading yeah. because you don't well, want to. in your mind, he is. But, well, but we, you don't want to have a conversation because you is. know. Yeah. That the outcome of the conversation is going to be him saying, "Oh no, we're no, not in no relationship." No. In most cases, no. I've seen yeah. you women want honesty when it's in their favor. Can't take it though. They don't really want it if it's not in their favor. So if it's it. if your mind telling you that yeah. this is going to be a relationship, mm -hmm. and I'm being honest with you, saying that this ain't that. Mm -hmm. You you can't handle that, so you like nah. I'm not even going to ask that question, right? Yeah. So right, that's it's, like a, of, yeah. it's yeah. like a case of it's like a case of. Uh, me and one of my little homies was having this conversation years ago where, and I know y'all probably been through this before, you have certain foods that you don't like, mm -hmm. 
right? And when you get around certain black people or certain uh, cookouts, and they're like, here, try this. You're like, I don't like that. Because like, you ain't had mine, though. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. the same concept. Yeah. yeah. KD don't like dressing. Yeah. Don't give her no dressing. She don't want it. Mm-hmm. I, you know, she well, eat I do mine, like your dressing, but though. But see, and that's, that's the part that throw people off, that's right? Yeah. Because you eat that's my dressing, exactly. and they'll see you eating my dressing and think that, like, oh, oh she do eat dressing. Oh, so this is, it is a possibility to well, change her mind. Well, now I say, well, I just eat Deontay dressing. I don't eat, because I don't like it. I don't know what he do different on his. I like his. But I, normally, I don't like it. That's the perfect example. Yeah, though. but that's yeah. the example. Yeah. So when somebody yeah. see that, that means, oh, it's a shot in the dark yeah. for me, too. Yeah. We can change this narrative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said he don't want it, but look at her. She eating dressing, mm-hmm. and it's his, yeah. right? So they, they like, we're going into this with that feel of, I'm going to change his mind yeah. because I think I can change Definitely. his mind. I don't care what he's saying. He don't because know what he's your, saying. Because in your yeah. mind, you're like, I'm a good woman. I cook. I clean. I make sure yeah. he's satisfied. I'm going to go to his house. I'm going to clean. I'm going to cook him a good meal. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put it down. He going to want to wife me. Mm-hmm. And the whole time, the nigga's enjoying every bit of it. In his mind saying, and we still just friends. Yeah. Still just because friends. Because some niggas just not built for relationships. I was about to say that. Yeah. Some niggas just not. Yeah. And it don't even necessarily mean they got to be with multiple people. Mm-hmm. Relationships just not their vibe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So while you looking for a husband mm-hmm. and he looking for a companion, yep. you need to stop it off top because mm-hmm. we're not even looking for the same yep. thing. Right. We're we, we not even in the same, same book. book. Right. Yeah. Damn the page. Yeah. <laughs> we I'm over here reading yeah. Alice in Wonderland and you over there reading Cat and Hat. Mm-hmm. We ain't even on the same shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I want to read novels. You want to read yeah. fucking just books. Like, this is, we not ever going to be. But the problem is we got so much in common, right? Yeah. We like so much of the same things. Mm-hmm. We hang out at the same places. Yeah. We like the same foods. We like the same wines. Mm-hmm. We like, you like my person, mm-hmm. but you're not. And you know what happens with that yeah. is, in the beginning, okay, all right. We're going to continue talking about this, right? Let me just push this button real quick. I know. The guns are drawn and I ain't talking about a sketch. I pay these niggas with a reality check. That was so right. loud. So, <laughs> This is the reality check. And the reason why I had to stop it is because I didn't want y'all to think that this all goes together. <laughs> and I feel like... He like, wait, 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 we wait. Because I was reading it as y'all was talking, and I'm like, yo, this is crazy. You don't right? read it before? I'm going to read it right now. You don't read continue. it before? Huh? Never no, no, it. I read it before. Oh, okay. Like, I know what we're doing. Okay. But to, to hear... The the the, the, the the way the conversation oh, okay, is okay, going, okay, okay. Just I get it. My it bad. make you reread it again and say, "Oh, wait, all right." So this one says, "My girl and I have been together for six years. It's normal for I mean, is it normal? Is the mm-hmm. question. Is it normal for us to not like the same things in life after so long? When we first got together, we liked everything, but now it's a struggle to figure out anything from food to uh, events. Shit. After six years. After six years. That's not that long. It's not that long, but the but reason six why six years I stopped, is a long time for people who never been in the long six time. Six years, but not to like the same food. Six years is a long crazy. time to continue to pretend. Yeah, because I'm like somebody oh. really didn't like it. So yeah. in the beginning, yeah. I feel like somebody a lot of people over compromise yeah. and pretend. Yeah. yeah. So like I'm like oh like okay That's Katie like true crime oh you like true crime oh I my god I love it too and then we start watching it year one every single weekend we doing true crime this I'm taking you to uh, crime con and and all this other stuff and then two three crime years crime. down the line I'm like yo I'm done with this I, I don't know this is this stupid is why are you still I like this <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what I'm saying so yeah see how you want to go to crime con you gonna be like you'll be you loving it and then I'm like this is stupid like what are we still listening we're going to crime con? So that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So like it's it's easy for me to pretend to to be into certain things in the beginning. And it's easy to pretend we don't live together. Yeah. I right? can even pretend when we live together. No. Most I'm, people. But I'm saying it's harder to pretend once we live together. But when we live separate, you only coming over here for a couple hours yeah. or a couple days, then you going back home. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it, like every six. So, so you six watch. Six years is crazy. So you watch though. true crime every yeah. day. I didn't know we was going to do this every day. Every single day. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But you know, that reminds me of one of my... But six years is a long time for this new generation. To pretend, though. No, yeah, to pretend. But But no. But that reminds me of of one of my mama kids. He can be in a relationship for 10 years. But once they live together, it don't even last a year. Yeah. Because the person you are once I live here, think about it. When you come home from work, you need your unwind time, right? Yeah. 
So usually I come over after that time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if I live here, now I'm here during the unwind time, yeah. and you're really a dick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't like you. I really don't this like is not you. not cool. I just don't Now, I'm now I know how particular you are so about, like, cheers. your laundry and, like, because this man is so particular about his laundry. Like, he got yeah. separate washing machines and dryers for s- certain shit, and this got to go to the cleaners. Mm-hmm. This type of shit I don't know when I don't live here. Yeah. Because I'm only seeing you Friday to Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Friday evening. I'm mm-hmm. leaving Sunday evening so I can go to work on Monday or getting up Monday going to work, but I'm still not seeing you again until the weekend. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you could pretend that for a while. Yeah. Not living together for sure. But once we live together or spend a week together, we like, hold the fuck. You're kind of psychotic. <laughs> like, it's I, not going to work if you don't have stuff in common, though. You got to have something. Yeah. Something in common to be together. Because six you don't years have to not have a, everything. Yeah. You don't some have to stuff. like the same food. Like, I mean, I really don't like, you fucking don't eat shit. But I don't <laughs> like the same food either. So, I mean, that can. But, I mean, we got to have something in common. And then it's like six years, not that long to grow apart. You know what but, I'm saying? Like, and, but that's what I'm saying. So, in 2024, six years is like 30 years. Yeah. Because I mean, everything is so instantaneously. That's like true. we. So, and six then years like, is a is long it time. six years from like 16 to 22? Because that's a, that's a big that is change. A big you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, them, them six years is like yeah. fucking... Life. Galaxies apart. So imagine versus thirty six to thirty six. Yeah. Not really. You know yeah. what I'm saying. So imagine yeah. the, them six years that you said was like a galaxy. Now though, in twenty twenty four, that's like three galaxies. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because everything happened like right. But I'm just saying, now. like the growth that you have from sixteen to twenty two, is kind of different than the growth you have from thirty to thirty six. Mm-hmm. Right. Even I though heard. you still grow in those years, yeah. I'm just, just saying from growth. sixteen to twenty two. Yeah, that's growth. like. Yeah. We're not in high school no more. We done either went to college or picked our careers or, you know what I'm saying? Like, those six years are more monumental mm-hmm. than, like, you know, yeah. 40 to 46. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I So, it's like, when when were those six years? Mm-hmm. Because the person you are at 16 is not the same person you are at 22. Right. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it. Even, <laughs> even when I think about myself, right? Yeah. When I was 16, I wasn't even... I hated all vegetables. Like, just... I didn't eat seafood at all. Now, mm-hmm. seafood is like my favorite food and I love all vegetables. So like, what about from 24 to 30? I is don't, that a, is that I don't a, really remember. No, 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 no. I ain't talking about from you. Oh. I'm saying <laughs> the, growth the growth period theory. from 24 um, to 30. Is I, that monumental I think or is it more of a... To me, I feel like the biggest shift is once you reach 30. 30. Yeah, like 30 is like such a huge shift into like this other part of life. Because by 30, you should have something figured out. Maybe not everything, but something. Mm -hmm. Like, you should know what kind of career you want. You should know Mm -hmm. whether or not you're going to finish school. Like, at 30, you should know some shit. Right. At 20, you still don't know shit. Like, Mm -hmm. you just now, you barely just now don't got a curfew. You know what I'm saying? Some Mm -hmm. people still got curfews at 20 because you still live at home type Mm -hmm. shit. So, from 20, I feel like your teens and your 20s is kind of like your... It's time for me to grow up. Mm-hmm. But 30 is like grown out. up. Still trying to figure yeah. out. Yeah, like by 30, you should have something. Mm-hmm. Anything. You know what I'm saying? So or I do think from 24 to 30 is a big, is another galaxy jump. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't know if I can stay with somebody who we don't have. We had everything together and now y'all like shit I do. That's I crazy know. though. Like, how y'all like nothing? With, I don't think I could be with somebody. So we can't clearly, pick a movie clearly, or. I'm sitting in my car, don't even want to go in the house. I'm irritated at everything you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like we've been married for 20 years, but it's only been six. Yeah, like, you got to, you sitting there trying to figure out, like, what do yeah, we like? What's, yeah. What is this? What are but we you doing? Don't, you don't even like my friends either. Especially but, if no kids are involved, you know, so it's no harm, no foul in that yeah. area. Most people get stuck in certain situations. I hate to use stuck when you're talking about relationships, but nah, they blame stuck. it on it's the stuck. kids. It's stuck for sure. Yeah, yeah, I know I know it's stuck, but I hate to use the word yeah. stuck oh. because I feel like nobody should put themselves in a position where they feel stuck. Well, nobody. I mean, that Or ain't nobody plan. should. <laughs> should right. I like, once you realize. Like it's planned. No, no, I ain't saying that, you, that it's planned, but I'm saying once you realize it. It's years down the it, line. That's yeah. the six years down the yeah. line. Yeah. And now, because if so you don't address them, it, it's gonna be sixteen so more. For them, it's different because you don't have kids, you don't have a family. Like yeah. once you start getting all that, I feel like it's easier. It's harder to get out of once you start having yeah. family and kids and all that. When you don't got kids, it's hard because you're gonna keep going back to that person for whatever reason. But you could just leave. Yeah. But when you start getting kids and you're married and all that, it's like mm, you 
gotta think about it. You can't just be I, like, okay, I'm leaving. Yeah. So the part that he spoke on was like food, um, events, and just that's things crazy. to do. That's, that's life. The part that he didn't speak on, which I feel like is still in the same category as like sex and just conversation. They probably period. not having sex though. No, I mean like the sex is probably the same as it was. Six years ago, because one of them felt like it was cool, and the other one was like, nigga. Or, it's either that, or, or. I can't, I can't turn or, you over, I can't lift your no, leg listen, up, I can't lift, or, you don't want to do Or, nothing. that's the only thing they have. That's what's keeping them together. They're like, but the sex so fire, bro, we could figure the rest out. You go eat, you know what, you go have dinner, I'm going to have dinner, I'm going to go see my movie, you see, I'm, I'm your movie, but we fucking tonight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. sex, some it people do, them you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. that good sex will keep you there. Yeah. So, what else would you say? Six yeah. years, like if y'all, you realize y'all got nothing in common, why else would you Look, and we crazy. We like but six years a, ain't shit. Yeah, our long-term right. relationship I asses. Like right. <laughs> but, and this yes. is coming from the guy, which made, which really threw me off right. a little bit. Because usually, which means that's the woman is the one who usually assess things be, in a relationship before the male. But in this situation, I feel like he assessed it like, yo. But you never know. Cause I really like this. A lot of times we always say men representatives show up. Women send their representatives sometimes too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she pretended to like wrestling. Yeah. She sat through the Raws and all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now she like, nigga, I'm not doing that no more. I'm going to sit through the Raw because I know I'm going to get it raw afterwards. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now she like, I'm not doing that no more. He like, like but I got tickets. Well, I'm not she doing like, that neither get, then. Get, <laughs> get one of your homeboys <laughs> to go with you. You going to hold You gonna hold our commonalities uh, hostage? I'm going to hold in this uh, nut hostage. We're going to figure this out till later. Oh. Because we, we clock. Cloudy right now. Ooh. Oh. Cloudy. Cloudy right now. All right? Right now. He's going to be cheating. He might as well just leave her alone. Damn. What? <laughs> what? I think, I, I don't know. Is even... he going to find somebody else to get? That escalated quickly. What? I feel like you should just leave her alone. That's just, just my opinion. I do yeah. think it's probably hard to be in a relationship with somebody. You don't have nothing to comment. Nothing in Cause you're gonna find somebody at work or somebody somewhere else that you're gonna be like, oh. He's gonna find somebody to get that we, ticket to. We got all this in common. And Whoa. you know what probably would have helped them out though, along them six years of, of uh growing apart was if they would have realized that sometimes, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words, but a video is worth a lifetime. But if they would have had somebody to catch those special moments within them six years, like, you know, Medallico Media, then they could have oh. went back. And like seeing how good things was and try to get back to that. They don't have nothing to compare it to because okay. it's all still up in their head. Okay. So, so you so you guys don't go through these same issues. What I want y'all to do is I want y'all to go to any social media site, wherever you at, look up Medalco Media and get these memories in visuality. Right? They can they can give you whatever you need. I just need y'all to tap into them. That's Medalco Media. I'm gonna put it on the screen somewhere. Y'all got me. Put it on the screen, Medalco Media, so that way they can know right here or here or here or wherever you put it at, around here. Hit that. Um, and then I also put in the link to, you know, follow him and let him know what y'all need. He going to look out for you regardless. Man, that's another relationship reality sent you. So that way you're not in this situation because we want y'all to remember the good times. So then they just going to look back at pictures of when they was pretending? Yeah, like, oh, okay, this we is why we... We We was happy. This is what I did. I messed up. I stopped pretending. Now, I can like, tell you from experience, that don't do shit. <laughs> but I like Fuck them pictures. No, I like the pictures. Man. Like oh, okay, okay. Oh, the pictures were, the pictures, no, the pictures, were, pictures nice. were nice. Pictures were nice. Pictures were nice. I mean, it, I think sometimes what, nice. what happens is the pictures it. come in handy early on. Not like you can't be beefed out to where I hate you. And I'm like, oh, let me look at the pictures. I oh, I don't hate you no more. You know, well, look at this picture. See this picture? Oh, look at the smart. No, it's too late now. You know what I'm saying? It's like the difference between like when they give you a shot at the doctor, they give you a Band-Aid, or if you get cut and it's beyond Band-Aids, you need stitches. Don't put the Band-Aid on the stitch or you need a stitch because you're going to bleed out. So it's the same thing. You got to catch it. You got to catch it beforehand, right? Um, before it get that bad. But, I mean, I feel like they kind of caught it before it got that bad because it was six years in the making. But um, she's six years. But, yeah, so... Final thoughts on that. Six years, what he should you say he should leave? Definitely. KD. Cheating, so six long, years. Long you, to get out of that. KD, you say six years he should what? Dip out or stay or what? What's what's your advice? I mean, I just feel like if you don't have nothing in common, what are you doing? All right. right. And then for me, Who I know you came to every day. We're not doing that. I know you came to us, but I'ma also say I hope that you went to her 
to discuss the situation as well because sometimes you you don't even realize that you don't like the same stuff sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think sometimes you get into a mode where you just turn your mind off and you're yeah, just there. Just do whatever. So yeah. even if you're in a room with me, I can tell that you're not involved. You're not paying attention. You don't, yeah. like, so that's another way of showing mm-hmm. that you're not really into it for real. Yep. So you got to pay attention to pay that attention. part yep. and have the conversation. You know, you if talk. you think that it's worth saving or it's worth fighting for, at least, at least, at the least, have the conversation mm-hmm. and see where it goes. If it doesn't go anywhere from there, then do like Kiki said and cut it loose. You know what I'm saying? You know, cut her off or in, in the, I cannot wait till I debut this song for you guys. But, you know, you know, <laughs> it, what it you I cannot so wait. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> but, uh, all right, so that's going to do it for us, <laughs> y'all. Before we go, Kiki, tell them how can they find us. You can find us on my favorite platform, YouTube, or you can find us on Oh, the crown? Because I'm the king of the pod. Oh. You know, king of the pod, you know. So I'm on a couple of different podcasts, and I let everybody know who, who run it. Huh? Okay. Been there, done that. Huh? Okay. Talk about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, right you now. YouTube, <laughs> iHeartRadio, or Podbean, or wherever you get your podcast. Talk that talk. All right. KD. You can follow us at Relationship Reality Podcast on Instagram. You can follow Kiki at rrp.kiki. You can follow me at your girl KD underscore. You can follow Coach DTM at Coach DTM. Talk that talk. All right. So um, the message for today goes as follows. Some people, for some strange reason, um, become addicted to trying to fix people. And I feel like that was that was kind of the consensus of what we were talking about throughout this uh, podcast was people trying to fix people. So your message is this. Some people you can't fix because you didn't break. So stop trying to build people into what you want them to be after they have already been broken because you can't fix what you didn't break. And a great example of that is myself. If I take something apart, I'm a 99% chance person that I can put it back together. But if you just give me a bunch of different pieces, <laughs> I'm going to have to tap out because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And that's how life is. Yeah. Like You get people sometimes in a bunch of different pieces. Mm-hmm. And instead of you being your authentic self and letting them put themselves back together and wanting to be a part of like regular life, you go into fix mode. And that's a lot of my problem. Like When people come to me with questions or Sometimes they just want to vent and my mind immediately go to fix mode. But I, I had to tell myself, you can't fix what yeah. you didn't break all the time. Mm-hmm. So you got to be able to pick and choose when you can fix it and when you can't fix it. All right. So with that being said, I am the one and only King Coach, Coach DTM. Your girl, KD. Your hostess with the most is Kiki. And the ice maker. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye to my pain. Goodbye to my pain and my sorrow. So long. So long. Bye bye. 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 Good job, facing. Goodbye to my pain and my sorrow. Thank you, Daddy. So long. Bye bye. So long, bye bye, and so long. Bye-bye. Thank you, hey, so long, bye bye, hey, so long. Bye bye. Media.